Hey guys, this is Bilal Khan with Photomoshi Studio. Today I'm at CES 2025 here at the Xpeng booth Aero HT. Uh, today I'm joined by Richard, and Richard will be talking to us more about the product itself. Sure. Welcome to Xiaopeng uh, Aero HT. That uh, this is the, the newest product we're bringing to Las Vegas CES 2025. Imagine this is not a concept car. This is a more ready for production uh, prototype. That the, let me show you a bit about the design. It's a simple, minimal, a behemoth car. That the the uh, the overall language is simple, and uh, we have a magical design here because of due to the sheer size of the vehicle, it's 5.5 meter long and two meters wide. So we give it this um, CMS design. So the mirror is actually a foldable. Um, uh, gadget that's hidden inside the car body. Yeah? That's very that's, neat. Yes, neat and simple minimal design that fits into the overall language. And let's move to the back. It's a two plus two seating configuration that the, the interior is ready, but we're not unveiling on CS yet until later this year. Uh, the six wheels, two at the front and four in the rear. Guess what? It, the, it bears the weight of a fully functional aircraft inside your trunk. Let's check it out. So here we're at the back of the car. Uh, through this uh, enormous uh, wind, uh, glass window, you can see there is something inside. And the, the car behind you will find it mysterious and interesting. So let's check it out, what's inside. By opening this uh, enormous size uh, uh, hatch do door and the twin opening tailgate, now you see this is a full size uh, um, uh, aircraft that we've managed hard to fold nimble and the store inside. How Apparently this is a model that we bring to your CS and this is not the functioning prototype that's on, on the uh, video screen. But uh, the way how it works, it automatically detaches out in less than four minutes and uh, puts back in itself. So it helps to reduce the hassle when having a helicopter, you need to have a storage and crew team on the ground. Very Let's true. go. Yeah. Any questions? My question is, uh, so why six propellers? Yes, six propeller, this configuration is for maximum safety. If one, according to aviation regulations, if one of the rotor fails, then we can still manage to land on the ground safely. With the assistance of the duck fan on each side, that is to, to keep the aircraft that the balance and the landing safe. Wow. And um, my next question is, how, how heavy is this aircraft? So the aircraft itself, with maximum redundancy of safety, we managed to, to keep it within 800 kilograms around. And the payload, the sitting passengers on board, two of them together is 160 to 180 kilograms. Very nice, very nice. And how much is a whole unit together with the electric van? The whole unit together is less than 4.5 ton. Wow, and how much does it cost? The, the combo we are offering, people often ask, do we offer this uh, aircraft by itself or the car separately? No, it comes in the combo. This is the point to offer this uh, convenience and this, ho this holistic is experience. So within, we are looking at the price range of less than 300K US dollars wow. that you can enjoy this, this journey. So basically, you get a full van, minivan, with the aircraft for the price of a Lamborghini or a Porsche. Right? Less than that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Honestly, I think that might be worth it for people who need to fly places, who need to get around faster and avoid traffic. Um, where is this going to be offered right now? Is this just in the, uh, Amer is this coming to the American market anytime soon? We are looking to it. Right now, we are testing the prototype in China and taking order this year. The delivery will happen sometime early next year, 2026. So after we, we already applying for the Chinese aviation certificates, 
And after that, we will start the American FAA certificates application. Very nice. So yeah. you have to be licensed to fly this. This license will be super easy to obtain. It's much easier than the helicopter licensing, which requires uh, compulsory uh, hours of training. By this one, we can move to the uh, aircraft and I can show you briefly how to drive it. Six propellers, huh? Yeah, <laughs> this is the configuration. Everything just makes perfect sense. As you can see, this is not a concept model. This is a ready to fly that the, with all the fully functional, uh, all the gear up. Let's uh, go through with the, the design of it. Uh -huh. That the, the height of the uh, aircraft is, de is uh, decided by the height of the landing pads that they fold. The landing gear folds and retracts, attaches back inside the, the trunk of the car. And six arms, six propellers offers maximum safety. So as I was saying, like even one fails or the, the opposite two fails, that the other, the rest four is going to take you back to the land safely. Yeah. Okay. So the, let's go through to the tail of the, the aircraft. Look at this chessboard like uh, graphics. Wow. This is where, this is how possible the car camera can AI detect where you landed because the aircraft it, it itself doesn't move easily. So the yeah. car is come, come, gonna come automatically and fully automated and pick it up and they retract it back inside the car trunk. Yeah, so they have two rails here, right? They connect yes. down inside the van and so it's gonna pull it and the, yes. I saw the van through the demo, it goes up and down a little bit, right? To adjust itself? Uh, uh, up and down a little bit to allow the the lifting up the tail payload of the, 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 the weight of the aircraft and folds the back one, then more inside than the front one. Very nice, very nice. Uh, some detail, uh, maybe you can cut it, is that these arms are folded manually. So these are the, these are the before flying preparations that needs to be done by hand. Wow. Yes. Are there any other preparation that you need to do by hand? Uh, no, that, that's basically it. Wow. Yes. Wow. And all of this, this entire configuration and design fits inside that van over there. Yes. That's impressive. <laughs> impressive, yes. And this and looks very sturdy. It feels sturdy too. If you hold it, it's like it's very fully very good. carbon fiber materials, lightweight and sturdy. Yes. Wow. I mean, your cabling is very nice as well. Design around the fans. Everything is really well designed. How many hours do you think you can put on flight for this? Uh, with current technology, the battery technology right now, that the, we are looking at the 20 to 30 minutes right for each charge. So, but of course, the battery advances itself very quickly nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Check out the interior. It wow. sees two people. Wow. Yeah, get on what's board. The, what's Al the material made from? This is a soft Alcantara material that very is nice. very comfortable. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we are, this is a minimal design without any redundant weight. Yeah. I mean, yeah, weight reduction here also on your handles. So we yeah, can actually get, on board. get in from here. Wow. Oh my God. You have jet like controls up here. On top of that, you have a full helipad or a helicopter type control arm. Wow. It's a full joystick. Yes. And it's very sturdy too. So it doesn't feel flimsy or it doesn't feel like you're gonna like lose control of it simple. The ergonomics behind your hand position as well as here. You have two, I think it's, yeah. So one for your trigger type and one button here. You have one to go forward and down. This is uh, aviation yeah. type of uh, uh, display with all the core messages you need for flying. And th on the right hand side, it's a large size uh, uh, smart display for uh, intelligent driving. Very nice. And I see that you have your battery controls, your altitude, you have almost everything that a pilot would need to, for basically if you're a pilot yourself, these are all the general information that you'd be picking up on, for example, if you're doing a helicopter ride or if you're also uh, flying a normal biplane or any kind of plane going from here, for example, to Mexico or to a different state. Um, Those traditional gauges and meters we nowadays are 
be integrated this uh, into this uh, uh, Garmin type of screen. What um, what are these controls up here? Uh, these controls up here is uh, how the the emergency ones. So oh. normally we don't touch them. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So just in case if anything goes wrong, you have a quick button to mm -hmm. press. Yes. Very nice. And what are these right here? So you have a joystick. This I is see. a redundant system that, uh -huh. that in, if in case the joystick fails, we have one extra set of uh, button controls to take you back home safely. So joystick fails, you got your backup. And basically, if this fails, you still have this. <laughs> so this is really smart. It's a smart way to get yourself in and out of an aircraft safely. I think this we is just, awesome. We just really show, want to show the message that we are bringing maximum redundancy and safety is the priority. Very nice. I agree with that. I think I've been shown maximum safety all around with the six propellers and making sure that there's redundancy and backups and also is what is the battery safety like on this? Uh, the battery safety, we are currently uh, still in under uh, development that the, the housing will use a, a, a sort of a secret alloy to prevent uh, uh, from fire and overheating. Oh wow, okay, yes. so you can prevent fire and overheating with this uh, with an alloy. That's really neat. Please do follow uh, Photomachi. Yes, and uh, please visit us our website and follow us on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Remember, expand Aero HT. Thanks guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and joining us. Thank See you. See you next time.